people on this mound. So how mad is he at, at me right now? It, they're all, they're all defensive. But it's not just about building a bond, it's about training obedience. I decided to try out one of the exercises and it requires this attack suit. The first thing you're gonna have to do is clean off your cars. Well, the good news is you won't have to pull the ice scraper out quite yet. The snow is pretty fluffy. DPS also suggests a reflective stand, a knife, and a blanket for extra warmth. That his website company had been hacked by what appears to be ISIS or an ISIS supporter. Protective stitching and built-in gloves and socks to make sure nothing gets in and nothing gets out. If you were to leave your air conditioning on for most of the day, let's say 15 hours at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, you'd be spending about $45 a month on air conditioning alone. Let's bring that number down to five hours a day. Still at 10 cents per kilowatt, you're still adding about $15 extra to your energy bill on air conditioning. I hope you guys are staying nice and toasty in that studio because my fingers are about to fall off out here. Now helmets do have protective padding on the inside, but Coach Warren says when players are going full force with helmet to helmet contact, sometimes concussions just can't be prevented. Currently investigating four cases that involve sexual relationships between students and teachers. Now once they've got their food, they have to stop here and enter a code. And the screen will show staff if the student is allergic to anything or not. Reporting live in South Abilene, Heather Fountaine, Fox News First. For a biker, there's nothing a little wind therapy can't fix. And for the Pathfinders, it helps make the road to recovery that much better. Pathfinder Recovery launched only a year ago, a club that brings together different people with two common denominators, recovery and motorcycles. Now I'm with a bunch of guys that's been exactly where I've been. It makes our life a lot more enjoyable with our bikes and our brotherhood. Poncho is one of the eight original founders and is now more than 15 months clean. When I was in my addiction, I, I caused a lot of havoc. You know, I've, I've legitimately changed my, so much about my life and how I do things now. The club isn't a 12-step program, but the members do hold each other accountable. To even hang around the club, you've got to be at least 60 days clean. After that, you're voted in as a newcomer and can receive your first patch. And this brotherhood here has given me the, the fire again and get out of that comfort zone and do something outside of me that these guys are talking about. I want part of that. I want to be part of something bigger than myself. 90 days later, you can become a full patch member. It's not only a symbol of pride, but a reminder of why they're here. But now I've put this patch on this bar that says when I, my clean date is, and all these guys here have one too, and we uh, respect that and hold each other accountable for that, and we don't want to lose this. You know, I know I can count on these guys. No matter what's going on in my life, I can count on them. It's the passion of the ride and the strength of the camaraderie that keeps this brotherhood on a clean path. I love the life that I live today, and I wouldn't have this life without this club. Reporting in Abilene, Heather Fountaine, Fox News First. You know it was huge, a huge main. It had to be the biggest one. About 250 gallons of natural gas condensate has spilled into Lake Stamford. And according to the Texas Commission of Environmental Equality, it happened during maintenance activities by Atmos Energy last night. We live out here. This is in our back door. Where's everybody at? One resident says she heard a noise that lasted more than 30 minutes. This was so loud. You couldn't hear me from here. It's like a jet engine landing on top of it. It's like, Wah! really, really loud. Crews from Atmos Energy have been on site putting booms across the width of the lake near the electric plant to contain the spill. You can see the natural gas in the water. All right, there you go. There's a metallic for you. And Diane says she's afraid it's affecting the wildlife. Yesterday, you could do like this, and 20 grasshoppers would jump up. Let's see if I can get one. But now... Ah, a little bitty one. TCEQ says the wind is driving the oil away from the drinking water intake plant and it's being contained. I'm sure all the fish are hiding down there right now. But Diane wants to see more done. Hey, we gotta clean it up for what? Diane spends a lot of her time picking up trash around the lake to keep it clean for the next generations and she's willing to do whatever she can to help. At Stamford Lake, Heather Fountaine, Fox News First. Abilene firefighter hopefuls are on to the next step in the process. This time, it's a physical agility test. It includes an obstacle course and climbing a ladder more than 75 feet in the air. They say they want the best, and doing tests like that is uh, it's definitely not for the weak. 
The purpose of the test is to check their upper and lower body strength, but also the strength of their heart. One of the biggest killers and causes of injury in the fire service is heart problems. And so we want to make sure that their, their cardio is good as well. Once the time clock starts, applicants must first open and shut a fire hydrant. The next part of the course is to carry this 100 foot hose 150 feet across the concrete. Then applicants hold up a chainsaw, climb up four flights of stairs, move a filing cabinet across the floor, and then a body too. Use a sledgehammer and carry a fan around the tower, all while wearing a 50 pound vest. We have them do that in a certain length of time to make sure that they can get that done and check all those, those uh, physical symptoms out. The course may get the guys out of breath, but it's an opportunity they're willing to fight for. Just to be a part of something uh, that you're able to give back to the community every day is something that I really admire, really look forward to doing. Around 45 applicants have made it to this part in the process, but there's only about 13 spots available. A lot of people out here and a lot of people wanting the same job. There is still one more group that has to go through the physical agility exam. After times are evaluated and ranked, those who have made it to the next step get a background check. And you know they're starting off in, in probably the best career there could be. In Abilene, Heather Fountain, Fox News First.